I first set foot in the U.S. in 1981. My parents paid $350 for me to come to the States, which was a big investment for a family of five children. I had a scholarship to pay for my graduate studies, and I had big plans. I was to become an intellectual and a social activist. I was to explore and challenge the politics of knowledge making by women like me. I was born in the town of San Sebastián, Puerto Rico in the 1960s. It was a decade of great experimentation for social and political development with the recently established constitution of the Estado Libre Asociado of Puerto Rico. But the plaza and the club, the teachers and the social expectations, even the books became stifling. So I left my country. I left the sunny landscapes, the joyful family gathering, the familiar sounds and foods, the warmth and the wisdom of my grandmothers and aunties. I figured I would go far, and I did. But I also became an expatriate who lives a multiple, binational, bicultural life. My location and history both enable and imprison me. I seek the possibility of reconstructing the self and the other through being outside, beside of myself, foregoing the assumptions of the subject as a singular autonomous self. For staging such identity, for making the social a material reality, I attach memory to place, I track affective objects, and the experience of dwelling and place. My goal is to produce knowledge about struggles I know and experience from my location in the United States as a light-skinned Puerto Rican woman with an accent who cross territorial cultural language borders often. Memory and mobility are my tools. I gather the sounds and photographs and search for the moments of plenitude and void. In the country of high skies, cold winters, and a language hard to follow, I read much, married, became an academic and a mother, learned new ways of thinking, speaking, and arguing. But I also encountered the implied rules for survival, the robbery of time, and the unmeasured expenditure of energy that takes to translate yourself to a culture unable or unwilling to open up to cultural differences. No way to negotiate the cultural distance between you and them. Unwilling to assimilate, to erase for good my entire past, as if it had died as if the beauty of my land and the embrace of my beautiful people were forgettable. I became a Latina in the US, a statistics in a census. Of my own will, I embodied the identity of the other, a mask who refuses to play the role, the hand that breaks the script again and again, one who still searches for true freedom in the land in between. <laughs> <laughs>